still to come on our show. He's one of the biggest names in track and field today. Talking about our sprint champion, Johan Blake. There's Rohan getting acquainted. Lucky fellow, I guess he'll join me soon. So this morning we'll hear about what happened in the international circuit, plus major plans from here on. Johan Blake is our special guest. So too does Kim Collins. Kim Collins has a lead, but here comes Johan Blake. Blake is storming down the track. Blake runs the line and wins it. He opens his arms and celebrates victory over Walter Dix and Kim Collins. Daniel Bailey in that order. 9.93 seconds. The time doesn't matter. But after his teammate Usain Bolt was disqualified, Johan Blake has... Well, without doubt, one of the fastest rising stars in the business, a man destined for even further superstardom. He's seen by many as the only capable, the only one capable of dethroning Bolt. And if his recent performances are anything to go by, that may not be far from the truth. He's the world champion at 100 meters and only a few days ago established the second fastest time in the history of the 200 meters. 19.26 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to see much sunrise this morning, world champion, Johan Blake, the champion himself, big man. <laughs> good, good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Welcome, welcome. And seeing that it has replaced our regular artist delight for this morning, we will be inviting some of your calls as well, so you may share your views, uh, your good wishes, of course, with Blake. And the numbers are, as you know them, one eight 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 nine nine one two three nine eight to nine. That's one eight 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 nine nine one two three nine eight. Not my phone. And nine three one six one nine three nine three one six one. Nine, uh, three. Bossy, welcome yeah, man, again, it's man. good Thank to you. have you. Mm -hmm. You know? No All right. So you're back home now, after weeks on the circuit. How does it finally feel to be back in Jamaica? Well, um, while I was away, I was uh, I was over the moon after all the experience. But um, to be back in Jamaica, to some good food, um, trust me, it's a wonderful feeling. I have to talk about the food. Um, you know, you've been you've been exposed, I should say, to to different um cultures and different types of foods. How was it for you? You know, knowing that you have your your type of food that you like, a probably a specific diet, having to you know conform to the other cultures. Well, um, it has been really hard. Well, but my coach Glenn Mills tell me say you have to get adjusted to the food. But um, I tried, I tried really hard. But um, behind his back, we have to keep um, eating McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> yeah. I can understand that because some of the athletes were complaining about the diet, the food that they were um, subjected to eating over in Dago and so on. But you know, that's how it is. But um, naturally, you have moved to a position now of reckoning in world sprinting, now among the top stars, among the superstars. Are you prepared for the obvious change in your life? Well, definitely I've been dreaming for this moment. Um, first, I was the one who have been doing the chasing. Now I'm the one that they're going to chase. Chase now. Wow. So um, for me, it, um, I'm, I'm, I have a wonderful coach. I'm mentally prepared for all of this. And also, you know, just getting ready for, uh, for coming up for next year. Mm, I can just Literally, um, yeah. this, this is the race here. Yeah, this is the 100 meters anyway. But uh, all right, let's go back first of all to Daegu and your um, experience. Before we go to the 100 meters, um, what was the experience like with the team and you know the people there and all of that? What, what was the experience when you arrived in South Korea? Well, definitely, um, you know, the all of the spotlight will be on Bolt mm -hmm. and, and Nasafa, knowing the fact that I'm um, on the last minute he pulled out. But I call myself the spoiler. You know, mm -hmm. knowing the fact that um, the focus will be on the two of them. So I said, okay, um, I can fit myself somewhere in that, but I keep it quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, um, knowing that my time will come. But um, the experience was wonderful. Um, the people um, and stuff. Uh, you mentioned Bolt and Asafa, you know, and um, I, I know you all are teammates, but it, it also seems like you all are good friends as well. What is the relationship like between all of you, especially with Bolt? Well, definitely, um, you know, Bolt um, is one of my close training partners, He's like a brother to me. Um, he's so wonderful in a way that um, even when I'm on the track running with him, he motivated me and telling me what to do, you know, showing me, say, um, look, you can do it. Um, even before the 100 meter finals, he said, look, it's me, I don't know, going to battle it out because both of us feeling really strong. Mm -hmm. So we're just looking to get ahead and just 
have fun going down. But you had said what your leg of the beast. You said, yeah. oh, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's a leg of beast. You're a leg of beast. All right, let's go back to the 100 meters now, all right? Before we talk about your moment of glory, let's start mm -hmm. with what actually happened before that. The fall start and um, the fact that you saying Bolt actually fall started. What was the frame of mind and did it throw you off at uh, any point? Definitely. To see a close training partner of yours who oh, I've been training for um, over much months and to see him fall started out of the race knowing the fact I was looking really forward to running with him because I enjoy running with him. Um, I was mashed up inside um, mentally but I have to hold myself together and put it in say, um, look, you're saying both is out, I have to do it. Mm -hmm. I have to do it for Jamaica because even when I'm looking back at it sometime, um, it's really hard to see um, a great guy like you saying going down. Right. You, you, you felt in any way, um, and the, um, it, it, it surfaced to many that you may have put some kind of pressure on him because you saying both <laughs> is your training partner and he knows what you're capable of. You believe that that had anything to do with it? Um, the fact that he did not want to give you any kind of advantage or anything like that? No, um, because you're saying about, you know, when you get going, you get going, and he, ha he has in front of no one in training and um, on the track. So I don't think that is, um, I just think he had been off with the start, so he wanted to get his start right, and I think it was probably that, you know, so um, it was just, it, he um, really was excited to get going. A little later on, I, I do want to talk about the training, you know, and the difference with, between you and you, you're saying, but mm -hmm. let's move on to the 200 meters in, in Brussels. What, was um, on your mind, you know, and <laughs> around that kind of time, 19.26, yeah. Well, um, definitely, I want to show people that um, what I did in Dago and all of that wasn't just um, oh, because Usain Bolt didn't run us off, I didn't run and Tyson Gay didn't run, you know, so um, I kind of turned up the, the eat a bit because, you know, I was just looking forward, because enough people think I can't run a 200, you know, I just do it for fun most of the time. Mm -hmm. But um, on that day, and I know the meet record was 19.5, and I said to myself, look, you can get it. My, sh my, my therapist, Sean Keck, will tell me you need to go for it. And I did that. And to see 19.2, well, I was a bit surprised myself. <laughs> yeah. surprised yourself. 19.26. Yeah, 19 <laughs> 19 19 it's your personal. Yeah. Did, did you actually go out there, there with that in mind, that you're really going to press it and then see um, how fast you can actually go? Yeah, and before the race, um, I tell my, my therapist, Keckle, Sean Keckle, and you seeing that, you know, I'm going to run a crazy race because it's my last race and I'm going to turn up the eat a bit. And, but I was looking for at least 19, mm -hmm. 4, 19, 5. I want to, if we can go back to the 100 meters, right, uh, at the um, World Championships, right, after that whole um, false start um, fiasco and all of that. Um, when you finally realized that well, Bolt was out of the race, you had only what um, Walter Dix was there and um, so on. Um, were you at that point now confident that yes, this is my time and take me through the race, the hundred meters? No, I was confident even before, you know. But um, I, I, if I watch my ease and myself and I run with all of these guys, I'm, I'm dragging. So um, first, see Usain Bolt is out. Man, of my main thread, um, I was looking forward to run with him to run the faster. But when I see Usain Bolt out and I get myself together now, I said, you know, I can't sit in the blocks and wait because mm. I don't want to fast start and just run past the field mm. because my last fight is crazy. You know, um, it, it's phenomenal, you know, because we started with Asafo, you know, and then you had Bolt come along, and just when we thought we reached our peak, you have you have Johan Blake. Johan Blake, and you're so young at that as well. You can understand how people are are questioning how are we doing it, how are you doing it? Does something happen specially that that, that you know when you start the race that allows you to even surprise yourself? <laughs> 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 um, many times, well, many Well, all I do it is like after have to keep focus and make sacrifices that um, enough people wouldn't made. You know, many night um, people is partying after being there, exercising and all of those stuff, mm -hmm. which I want to party and stuff, but I can't. And you have to make tremendous sacrifice, which I did. And also you have to have a great coach, like Coach Clemens, who understands you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that there the are certain coach. questions that will naturally surface. And, you know, people talk about the phenomenal improvement that you have made, you know, from a personal best of 20.60 seconds to 19.78 to now just 19.26 seconds in just um, about two seasons. What would you say to that? Because naturally there will be the skeptics. There will be people who will be saying that. As a matter yeah. of fact, there was an article um, that was written by, um, by, a, by an American um, recently, and, mm -hmm. you know, he would be questioning this. You know, what would you say to those? You know? <laughs> well, um, 
I don't really follow um, those stuff because we're going to get this. It is natural in the sport, you know, um, to see a young person running that fast. I was, um, if they look back on my high school career, I, I was really talented. I just need um, the coaching for it, and which um, Coach Mel did and harnessed me, even though I'm, we are enough what he predict. So um, that is just a peak of what to come, so they will keep on speculating. Because if you follow your career, you know, um, compared to that of um, you say, it's almost mm -hmm. identical, almost like the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Almost like the same thing. And there are many who are predicting now that based <laughs> on um, uh, uh, where you are now, you might even uh, achieve even greater than both. Are you looking forward to something like that? Well, definitely. Um, that's my dream. You know, to, uh, when I see Usain Bolt in Europe and he can't walk, I said, wow, I would love this, even though it is not good, but I said, I would love this, you know, and <laughs> it finally, it's coming true, you know, anywhere I go, I have to get police escort and all these things, and it's a wonderful feeling when you see people look up to you, I'm 21, and to see big people really looking up to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, but to have somebody like Bolt working with you, you know, mm -hmm. is he, he's, you know, the, the, the world champion as well, and mm -hmm. to have somebody like that in your training sessions, you know, could you attribute a lot of your development to that fact, the fact that you have him with you. Definitely. Yeah. He's fast. He's just a beast as me in training and we're both vice versa um, in training in the 300 meters and all that stuff. And he motivated me, as I said, in training and we just have fun. He's a, he's a, love, he's a loving person. Mm. He likes to have fun and all that stuff. It's just, just amazing training with him. All right, yeah. here are more I could do. You know, what now we're so going to go back to Dave Boo. All right, and you remember when the presentation of the 4 by 100 meters, and you mm. were there on the podium and stuff, and accepting the medal and stuff, and then the national anthem was being played. You were criticized by many. I'm sure you're aware of it because you, uh, subsequent to that, issued an apology yourself on board, you know, following the antics and so on. What basically was going through your mind during the anthem and, you know, and that kind of. Well first, <laughs> well, first and foremost, um, I don't have any excuses, but um, I just want to say I was, I was overwhelmed. Um, I just win the 100 meter. It's a four by one world record, you know. Um, I didn't look into disrespect the anthem in no way mm -hmm. and stuff because I love Jamaica. This is where I born and grow and stuff. Um, but people have to understand when emotion, sometimes emotion really get the best of you when you, you find yourself in that, um, in that situation. But um, as I said, I have no excuses. Um, I just start going to happen again, and you're going to see me on the podium um, many again, more times. Many I know more that. times. <laughs> I, I know you will that. see um, it won't happen again. No, I know that. You're so, he's so likable, you yeah. know, not <laughs> just a talented, but so likable. I mean, to, to, I'm thinking about it, and this was really your first extended season, is mm -hmm. it not? Um, how are you feeling? Are you tired? And when do you start training again? Well, I'm not tired, you know. Um, you're not tired. I'm, I'm, I am not. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the yes, you need rest too. Yeah, but yeah I'm mm -hmm. definitely I'm young and energetic and fit. Um, I start about training um, October the 18th or the 17th of them, even the 17th would be all day. But um, just looking forward, can't wait for next year. Same as you say, you can't wait to get back in training for next year, for coming to the Olympics because it's going to be crazy. I know. Tell you. Yeah. Uh, 19.26, and I want to go back to, to that, is actually amazing, right? And uh, the fact that, too, you have not mastered the <laughs> curve, that turn <laughs> as yet, it's frightening to think of mm -hmm. how fast you can go. And I'm sure that um, I, I, that curve running will be modified. Um, you will be working on that still. Uh, what do you think you're capable of? 19.6, what do you think you're capable of running? Um, running 19.26 and have a reaction of 2.6 when I saw a start in, in the race and running the corner at 75. Um, just imagine if I can run the corner much faster than that and also turn it on hmm. in the straightaway. Um, running something like Usain Bolt, um, when you see it come off the curve really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think, you know, I don't want to say a time, but <laughs> it's, I just don't want to get people frightened and all that. I will just save it for the track. 1910? You know? yeah. Probably. Uh, Maybe less. Younger than that. <laughs> I'm not pretty in that time. How low you know. can you go? <laughs> no, but you I'll mentioned Bolt and, and, and saying, you know, how fast he was on, on the curve mm -hmm. and coming straight through. Have you ever beaten Bolt before? Can you beat Bolt at, at any of the distances, the 100 meter or the 200 meter? Well, in training, we are close at it. Uh, we are, we're close at it. But um, in this sport, you know, it's really about the medal for me. Mm. You know, um, anything can happen on the day. Mm. And um, no people like Tyson Gay and those guys looking forward to beat Bolt and train themselves <laughs> to death and <laughs> can't run at the World Championship and all those stuff. I'm not really looking forward to that. And I said, anything can happen on the day, you might never know. 
um, probably I'll beat him or, you know, so. It's true. All right, speaking of beating to you know, because um, many people did not know, we're going to be taking a break still, but many people did not know that he had a race after he finished that there in Brussels. There's yes, another race after that. Another championship. That he lost in a world championship, <laughs> in a, a world record time. He lost in, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. And we have that footage for you. And we are going to be premiering it exclusively this morning. His race after Brussels. But first, we're going to take a break. And we'll be taking some of your calls as well. 2931-6193 and 1-888-991-239-829. Soon come. <laughs> have with us the world champion Johan Blake at uh, 100 meters yeah the man that's still we tell you know before we went to the break that he had another race right which was right after Brussels so <laughs> when is it again? about a week or so ago mm -hmm. right? yeah mm -hmm. a week ago yeah oh. I think about a week or so ago after he actually lost in a world record time mm. a world record time people uh, we're, we're ready with that race? All right, um, let's take a look at that race now. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Well, so it, 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 it was actually the race of all races, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the the, the Seville Met Sunrise um, Grand Prix. And um, he um, had to test the strength, the speed of this man. And by word, and it's, it's, it's Delhi who's done in front. Yes, <laughs> and he has won it. 9.50, ladies and gentlemen. This is a record. This yes. is a new world record for the 100 meters. Yeah. 9.50. This is phenomenal. Oh, no. no. This is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. Why are you no. losing that race, man? <laughs> <laughs> you know you can you have to win so I have to lose some. Yeah, yeah, have to lose some. <laughs> Can I just call you out a second? Him said it happened a week ago and he's in the same clothes again, Rod. Well, no, hold on. Why them say, no, hear what they, no, but hear what they say. They, no, like, them say if you don't repeat your clothes and you're one. You find a combat. You find a combat. Like 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 <laughs> in fact, when I went to, I, I went down the road the same day. Yeah. And then somebody took me on about that. Day. When I came out and I was putting gas in the car, them said, Bassi, are the same suit? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, that's how it is. Too. Repeat, man. All right, we're mm -hmm. gonna take some of your, <laughs> some of your calls again. One eight 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 nine and one two three nine eight two nine. That's one eight 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 nine and one two three nine eight two nine and nine three one six one nine three nine three one six one nine three. Those are the numbers for you to call. Johan, mm -hmm. how much Rowan paid you to lose that race? Tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? It is because real. No, he was jogging. <laughs> and he he was clearly jogging. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. To be frank with you, I couldn't believe it. I thought he was not going to follow this, the script. The man is so fast. I was like, Johan, where you do man? Hold back, no man. I was there for all. I was worth, and I was giving it everything. And Johan was just like this. Yeah, trotting. Yeah. No, Trot. you're, 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 you're amazing. You're amazing, man. Honestly, yes. though, he can take it. How, how fast is he? Well, I would say fast like a slug, but <laughs> he, he, has, he, has, he, has, he has good fast ideas. Fast like a slug. <laughs> we have good, we have good, 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 good Yes, good I have the technique. I, I have the technique. Yes, technique. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I have the technique. Have good All right, we have All our right. first caller on the line now, so let's take our first caller. Good morning. Hello there. Good morning. Not yet? All right, caller coming up soon. 931-6093 and one 888 9 Those are the numbers for you to call. Mm. Um, mm. We mentioned about the fact that your life has changed. Naturally, mm. it has. And... Um, um, is it the same here in Jamaica, if you will walk, be, be walking on the street and so on? And, um, mm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it has changed significantly in Jamaica here. Um, walking on the street, you have to be signing autograph, hundreds of people. But I know I, I'm, 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 I'm a person that stays inside, really, so I've been going on the road. It, but yesterday, I got to do my year, and, you know, it was crazy out there. Mm. Um, people, you know, they're just showing how much they really love you and all. But mm. You know, I, I know you said that you have rehearsals. I mean, here about rehearsals, training, training, October 18th. So you have a little time to do some partying. Um, you're going to take advantage of that and wear your Johan Blake hat too. I, I see it, you know, the YB, oh. custom made. Yes, I'm um, you you know, Yeah, let me get the hat is, first. Oh. This is 
part of um, my foundation, the YB Foundation, uh -huh. to deal with um, kids that in need and stuff. So I'm just promoting it. Um, I guess it will come out soon. Nice. Yeah, so. Mm. All right, so you're going to party as well. So you have charity <laughs> and you have <laughs> party. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the really um, party type, but mm. um, I'll go and try, I'll try to enjoy myself on the narcos. I'm much of a cruising person. Mm. Yeah. And so the dancing thing, I don't know. Really, yeah. yeah. All right, Pamroy is our first caller. Pamroy. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hey, Pamroy, what's up? I'm good, and you? Wonderful. I'm, we are okay, man. Nice mm -hmm. hearing from you. Yes, Apart yes. from Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know you want to big up your hand. Go ahead. Yes. Hi, Owen. Hi, what's up? Good morning. Good morning. This is Corinne's aunt and Fitzroy Adams' mom. Remember those two people? Quite so. All <laughs> right. I'm proud of you for being a Jamaican and a St. Diego Heights yep. and for being the second fastest man in the world. No, Keep no up problem. the good work yep. and I'm proud of you. Oh, Pamroy, thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right, Pamroy, <laughs> thanks so very much. Thanks, Pamroy. Thanks so very much. Things have really changed from your days at um, St. Diego, eh? isn't it? Really? It has, yeah. Um, and I'm at, at, at sure that you'll be going back there at um, some point still. Definitely. But um, as, as, as we mentioned initially, the uh, fact that you're not really a party person, but um, mm -hmm. between now and the time that you uh, begin training, uh, what will it be like? Will it just be um, some fun or just relaxing? No, um, you can't lose, really lose the fitness and get too big and you have to do active rest. So you have to stay in the pool, you have to do something active to get back in training, you don't want to get sore. But um, yes, I have a couple of my friends and we're going to do some stuff, um, probably go on the narcos, chill, you mm. know. Just have fun. I like yeah. that, active rest. Yeah, active, active rest. rest. All right, we have another call online. Marie, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome. Hey, I am so proud of Ruan winning this morning. We are so proud of you. Thank I'm you. I'm so happy to see you and listen. I know you're going to do great. You're yeah. an excellent young man. Don't drink no rum and no al alcohol. <laughs> but no, I look like here, that. your thing turn up loud. Thank you. I'm not like and that. And you're going to do well. And I, I'm, I'm happy you said about you saying you um, you um. You see, mm -hmm. you're very respectful to you saying and listen, if you beat you saying I saw it go. <laughs> Respect you every time. We love you. I run, I run, I run the day when I see you win. I was so happy and so big up yourself. Much, much we thanks. love you and we're praying for you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, man. All right. Thanks, Marie. Marie. Thank Marie, you. thanks much. All right. We're gonna try and see how many calls we can take as um, possible. Again, the numbers are nine three one six oh nine three. There we go. Nine three one six oh nine three and one eight eight eight. Nine nine one two three nine eight two nine one eight 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 nine nine one two three nine eight two nine. Those are numbers for you to call. We have another caller on the line, so we say hello there. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Morning. morning. Yeah, man. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, man. Just wanna, just wanna say congrats to you on. Thank you. Yeah, man. And um, is question for you? Is there a, a rivalry, a beef going on with you and um, Asafa? Well, um, I don't really have a comment on that, but if you look back at the trials, um, all what he said, but um, no, no rivalry, really. I'm just going to track, I just perform. Um, no rivalry. All right, because, I mean, seriously, yeah. for a country that is doing so good at the highest level, mm -hmm. we don't want to be displaying no from a washing no dirty laundry in public. That's no, right. I, Donovan. Yes. No, I, I, and I really don't think that that's the um, position that he has taken in any way. Still. No, no. I, 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 I know, I, I know, and I understand where you're coming from. Right. And uh, you know, nothing is wrong with any kind of competitive rivalry. No, no. But, so but, yeah, we cannot I can understand that. All right. Thanks so much, Donovan. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, for your call. Again, 931 <laughs> The numbers for you uh, to call. You're looking forward to racing uh, both of them. Bolt and uh, Asafa Colin. Tyson Gear. Three in the race. Tyson Gear as well. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's going mm, to be interesting. Mm, mm. Well, you have Walter Dix down pad still. You, you can deal with him anytime still. <laughs> Tyson Gear is the next man. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. All right. Let's talk to Kali. Kali? Yes, yes, yes. What's up? Morning. Let's up, let's up, let's up. Hi, hi, hi. Yes, you want? Yeah. I love the thing, isn't it? Yeah, man. Thank you. All right, then. Just hear what you do, man. You don't know Jamaica there, you know. True. And thing, you know, you're patriotic to your country, you know. So you don't know that when, you know, everything you do, just keep your head up. Don't want to listen to people. Just keep doing what you, you know best. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Because yeah, you man. don't know that 
as I'm gonna say, is a Jamaican, and everybody ever expect this, expect that from you. True. You just know where you did that before you reach here now, True. and what you do now, you just keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to no one. Is it me? Yeah, man. Well done. Right, bless you and love you. Yeah, man. Thank All right, you. Thanks, Kelly. Don't listen All to right. anyone but him and what he <laughs> just said. <laughs> 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 that was good advice. It was advice. good advice. What about the four by one hundred meters? Um, yeah, you actually ran the curve. Mm. You ran the tool. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? Well, I'm, I'm not really good at the curve, and when I find myself on the curve, Coach Mill said to me, look, you got to put your fear behind you. And I just go out there and I said, look, um, all of the guys in my room really well, Nesta Carter, Michael Freight, and when you hand over to me, I just transform same time and just hand over the button to Usain Bolt. And you know, for a record, you mm. know, mm. <laughs> you don't understand just what like I feel. Turn up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, turn up. Mm. And I'm sure you have more world records to, to, to make. Definitely. All right, we have, a, we have another caller. Nidio? Hi, good morning, how are you? Welcome, we're fine, thank you. But good, good. Yuan, good morning. Good morning, Nidia. You're my boo. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> thank you. My boo. Yeah. You said earlier that if you if they would watch you from high school days, mm -hmm. watching you from high school days, and before Bolt bust out, we were having a conversation, I said to somebody, you and Blake, that's my boo, I'm watching everybody, said, watching Bolt, I love Bolt, yes. Yeah. Way back when, before, Mm -hmm. I was watching you. And let me tell you something. This is my first time I ever, ever call anywhere to talk to anybody. Thank you. So you know, you're my boo. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Love you. Much love. Thank you. And, and Nidia, thanks, thanks, Nidia. And that's the consensus around um, town and, and mm -hmm. international as well. Is, is the love. Not necessarily the boo part, but you know, <laughs> people are supporting you and, and loving you. Talk to me about your family, though. Where are they at? Well, I think um, they're just coming back from Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because knowing that I'm a family, it's a really big family, um, nine of us, and for, for me, excel out of the family, you know, I can put them somewhere, they all can walk on the street without people nagging them and say, whoa, I love your son and this and that. Sure. Yes, it's really nice, and <laughs> I think they're going to reach Jamaica by to, um, tomorrow after they leave Pluto. Oh, when they leave Pluto, they're very good. So that's something else. You're amazing. You're really, really, really something else. All right, we still want to take some of your calls before we um, conclude because he has um, another engagement and we had promised that we would have let him go at 7.30 because he has um, a meeting, but I'm, I'm sorry, Whoa. but we apologize for that, but we are still holding him, all right? Um, 931 and one eight 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 nine and one two three nine eight two nine. Let's take another caller, and this one is Mikey. Hello? Yes, morning, you are. Good morning, Mikey. We are so proud of you. Yeah, man, respect. Yeah, so, are you attending any other universities presently? Well, I don't want to say it public, you know. Um, I don't really like school, you know. But, <laughs> 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 but I'm a further in my studies, you know, because after track and field, there is life. Okay, so you haven't really started yet, then? Yeah. Okay. Um, you used to run the 100 and 200 in high school. Why, why are you not running more 200? Um, well, um, <laughs> I, get, I get so comfortable running the 100 meter and mm -hmm. leave out the two, but um, I think I would take it um, into consideration for next year for the Olympics and run the both of them. Because you, you used to win both of them. So yeah, that's not true. Win. That's true. You have, the, you have the ability. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to run it next year for the Olympics. Okay. All right, Mikey, All right, thanks. Keep doing what you're doing, sir. Yeah, thank, you, Mike. Cool. thank you, thank you. He asked him about schooling and, and furthering his education, but um, I was just thinking about other things you might want to further in life. I know you're still young, you know, mm -hmm. but you're thinking about having a family one day, you know, Getting having married, nine kids married. Like that. Yeah, that kind of thing. How many kids? Nine kids. Nine kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, um, <laughs> for me, um, I wasn't looking really for kids. I looked like Angelina and Brad Pitt, like to adopt children. Because oh. if you look back in Africa, I'm no the type of person, you know, I want to give back to poor people because I know what it feels like. You know, I want, I'm thinking about adopting and stuff. Um, go back to Africa, donate every time. So that's I think exciting. that's God is blessing. You want to give that. back to poor people? Yeah. Yeah. Start right, yes or not? Right, <laughs> So. Mr. Rich, best dress. <laughs> Sorry, right. let's, let's skip you this morning. Let's take another caller. Sophia, good morning. Hi, good morning. What's up? I'm fine. Hi, you all. This is Alidia's mom from St. Diego. Hi. Oh, what's up? Uh, what's up, Sophia? Tell Alidia I from him. Yes, I will. And I congratulate you on your... um. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes, congratulations. Much love, And thanks. I wish you all the best. And we love you. Aww. Love you too. Thank you. Yes, and uh, I'll, 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 I
Cool. All right. All right, Sophia. Sophia thank Thanks you. Much. Thanks so much. Good to have um, you. Well, I'm afraid that is where we'll have to leave it for this morning. We'll have to be um, letting you go now. But is there any parting shot in the last words that you would like to leave with the Jamaicans? And, um, you know, for those youngsters out there as well, too. Yeah, well, first and foremost, we have to give God thanks um, for his many blessings for on the track. And Coach Glenn Mills, good coach. Um, Sean Keckle, my therapist, he has been working with me. Um, suspense is backstage. And also um, my agent, QBC Gobin, and all those people has been working with me. And for the kids out there, I'm 21, I'm young. Um, I just keep focus and doing what's right. After make sacrifices in life, then after you will enjoy your, your success. And I just want you to just keep um, your head up high, taking the education because it's key. Yeah, and just focus. focus. All right, thank you. Johan Keep Blake. up the good work. Thank you so much. So proud to have you. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so very much for engaging us um, this morning. No I want to thank you to the viewers for um, being a part of this special mm -hmm. Artist Delight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big up your fans and ting and ting and ting. Yeah, I just want to say um, thanks for the support. Um, the fans who have been supporting me from um, high school uh, um, up until now, I just want to say thanks. and. Hope you just keep up the support and now we'll keep on doing my thing. So thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All, All right. right. Um, I want to thank, <laughs> thank you again. And um, yeah. the fact that you, you, you had to put back the meeting um, this morning, you want to, you want to, to thank you also those. for yes, e yeah. e extending that gen generosity. Um, Spence, big up yourself, Basi. <laughs> Enough love, enough love, yeah, your can. manager here. All enough right, love so to see you, you um, You'll tomorrow. You'll see them Friday, I'll see them tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ladies, Ladies, you. Ladies, you. Mm -hmm. So thank you so very much. Bye-bye. Can I do it? Too? Yeah. <laughs>